Hey everybody, Pricklover18 here, and today I'm going to unbox set number 1354, this LEGO Studios Dino Head Attack. This set has 92 pieces and is all the way from like 2001. Because this set is so old, I'm going to do my best to try and keep the box in perfect condition, so this unboxing may take a while. First thing I noticed here is the Lego set. So the set itself actually looks pretty similar to how Lego still bags their sets. Oh, this is from 2001 that I mentioned. A lot of the same pieces, it looks in great condition. And as you can see, the minifigure's head's actually assembled to his body. Over here in the smaller bag, again, it's very similar to how Lego bags their sets now. I believe if this would have been like a current set, I think Lego would have probably used three bags. But and it's weird, as you can see, they bet they put their heads on their minifigure, something that I've never seen before. Here it looks like we got this. I don't know what this is. It doesn't look like the instruction manual. Oh, it's actually a catalog of a Lego catalog. So as you can see here, it's got a lot of studio sets. And that's really cool. And I think I'll actually make a video about this separately. Join the Lego Club free. As you can see here, we got a bigger Technic piece. We got this bigger piece as well. And then what's this? Okay, so this is a Lego Shop at Home catalog Re order request. That's pretty neat. And of course, this is the instruction manual. As you can see on the back here, it's got a few more variety of Lego sets, including the Cameraman, this Johnny Thunder, this Action Studio set, as well as the Stuntman Catapult, I believe that is. And this is like, this is cool. This is an awesome set, I can't wait to build that. And it looks very similar to the sets that we see now, except this is Studio, so there's these little, like, screen number things, I don't know what you call them, and various Studio scenes, so that's really neat. And it, also, a Lego barcode is something that I noticed right off the bat. I don't know what that's all about. And I get it. Here are the steps. It says the steps in these way. I don't know what you call but like the markers for the screen, which is, and the page numbers are like the clapperboard. So that's really cool. Lego doesn't do stuff like that now. Like, can you imagine if a city instruction manual, you had handcuffs? That'd be pretty cool. And then there's even more sets at the back here. And something that I noticed right off the bat is Lego doesn't include the parts list, which is kind of interesting. So anyways, unboxing a Lego set from 2001 is pretty similar to unboxing a Lego set in 2016. Pretty much the same components, you know, you get your instruction manual, you get your pieces, and you get your larger pieces that are not in bags. The only difference is you don't get a Lego catalog request form or a like, small mini Lego catalog. Thanks everybody so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to check out a review of this set, you can do that in the cards now. As well, if you want to find out how I got this set, you can find out in the cards now. Thanks everybody for watching, I hope you have a great day. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like.